उमापति महादेव की जय आज शक्ति दुर्गा महारानी के जय बुलिस यावर राम चंद भगवान की जय अज्ञान तिमिरांधस्य ज्ञाना जनशलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितम् ये म तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबुद्धिताम भगवता नारायणे नस्वयम् व्यासे नग्गतिताम पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारतम् आद्वैताम तवरिष्णी भगवती अष्टाध्याशाध्यायनी मम्बत्वामनुसंधामि भगवत् गीते भवद्वेशनी नमोस्तुते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुलार विंदायत पत्रनेत्रे ये नत्वया भारत तैल पूर्ण प्रज्वालितो ज्ञान मय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय तोत वेत्रे कपाने ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्णाय गीता मृत दुहे नमः सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदना पार्थो वस्सा सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्धम गीता मितम महत वसुदेव सुतम देवम कंस चानुर मर्दनम देव की परमानंदम कृष्णम वंदे जगत गुरुम भीष्म द्रोण तटा जयद्रत जला गंधार नीलोट पला शल्य ग्राहवती कृपे न वहनी करने न वेला कुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोर मकरा दुर्योधना वर्तिनी सोतीना खलुपांडवे रणनदी कई वर्त का केशव पाराशर्य वचह सरोज ममलम गीतार्थ गंधोत कटम नाना ख्यानक केसरम हरि कथा संबोधना बोधितम लोके सज्जन शट पदय रह रह पेपी यमानम मुदा भूयार भारत पंकजम कलिमलप प्रध्वंसिना श्रेयसे मुकं करोति वाचालम पंगुलं घयते गिरिम यत कृपात महम बंदे परमानंद माध यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेंद्रुद्धमारुतस स्तुन्वंति दिव्यायिस्तवायीर वेदाय सांग पदक्रमो पनिषदायीर गायन्तियम सामगा ध्यानावस्थत तद्गते नमनसा पश्यन्तियम योगिनो यस्यांतम न विरुसुरासुरगना देवाय तस्मै नमः देवाय तस्मै नमः 
बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय आज शक्ति दुर्गा महारानी की जय सियावर राम चंद्र भगवान की जय बोले पवन सुत हनुमान की जय आदरणीय पूजनीय ब्राह्मण गण पंडित गण विप्र मंडली प्रिय सज्जनों प्रिय भक्त महानुभाव प्रिय भक्त गण महानुभाव पहले सभी को राधे राधे और मेरा नमन आज हमारे परम सौभाग्य है इस देवी मंदिर में हम सब मिलकर गीता पाठ करने जा रहा है पंडित चित्राम महाराज जी अपने माता पिता की स्मरण में उनको धन्यवाद देने के और उनके ऋण चुकाने के लिए आज श्राद्ध तो कर चुके पितरी आप अंतिम गीता पाठ जितने लोग यहां बैठे हैं और बहुत लोग बाहर भी सुन रहे हैं देख रहे हैं सभी का अति सौभाग्य है इस अवसर को देखने के लिए और सुनने के लिए मोस्ट वर्षिप पंडित सिटिन ब्राह्मण पंडित डेवेस डिवोटिस ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड डिवाइन सोर्स फर्स्ट अट मी से राधे राधे सीताराम टू एवरी वन and my humblest pranam my humblest prostrations to each and every one especially the most esteemed and worshipable pandits today we are very indeed very blessed to be sitting here during this period of pitri paksh pitri ancestors paksh 15 days which is dedicated to our ancestors departed souls today pandit chetram maharaj in the memory of his departed parents and the debt he owes to them and all of the ancestors he performed the pitrishad shrad and to finish that the gita part it is indeed a great blessing for all of us who are here to observe this and there are many many observing outside also to the medium of social media facebook youtube bhakti tv etc we all indeed very blessed whether we are here the greatest blessing is to be present here but even where we are out in the world and we have this opportunity to look at this and to listen to imbibe in this with all the faith and devotion we should sit quietly and listen and try to take the greatest benefit such an opportunity does not come again and again when we please the pitris they show a great blessings and abundance upon us and the best way to please them by performing pitri shrad which we did which pandit ji did and in conclusion to do gita part so today we're going to do some of the gita to bring out the lesson to all of us this is recommended in garur puran etc that the sons and all the relatives etc friends should sit quietly and listen to someone who can dispense on the scriptures and bring that knowledge of the transient nature of the world the importance of human birth 
the reality of who we are and what we should do hame kya karna to aaj hame aathve adhyay se katha katha karenge bahut mahatvapurna katha hai today i'm going to read from the 8th card 8th chapter of gita very important and how important we will hear we begin with bhajan hari naam sankirtan the devotees can follow if you are able to also see in the book is a bhajan and page 25 a uh, page 16 if you can follow with us if you can see in the book it will be nice you can follow also this beautiful bhajan written by jagat guru tam shri kripalu mahaprabhu tells us to sing the name of god to chant the name of bhagwan varesh radhe radhe krishna krishna durge durge shiv shiv ram ram chant the name of god all the time every moment chant the name of bhagwan meditate every moment on the form of bhagwan the supreme lord is the ultimate gati is the ultimate destination for those of us we have nothing no way of where we are going in this world haven't leave you haven't left you my lord where else can i go you are the, des- the ultimate destination i do not ask for you from from you for bhukti or mukti bhukti worldly and heavenly pleasures or mukti even i ask what do i ask i ask for divine love selfless love for your lotus feet forever i will never leave you now whether you love me or whether you you kill me i will never leave from behind you because of maya i have forgotten you my lord i have forgotten myself i have forgotten you how come you have forgotten me o lord i ask for one boon if you can grant it that i may never desire anything from you these beautiful verses we'll sing of this beautiful bhajan as we begin the katha today radhe radhe shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 o radhe radhe shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 agati ki gati tu hi radhe agati ki gati tu hi radhe tu hi taji kit jaau radhe shri radhe 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 kit jaau radhe shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 o gaau chhin chhin naam radhe gaau chhin chhin naam radhe o gaau chhin chhin naam radhe gaau chhin chhin naam radhe dhyao chhin chhin roop radhe shri radhe 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 dhyao chhin chhin roop radhe shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 o radhe radhe shri radhe 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 shri radhe 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 antakale chamameva smaran muktva kalevaram ya prayati samadbhava yati asnatrat sanshayah yam yam vapi smaram bhavam tyajyantyante kalevaram tam tamai vaiti kaunteya sada tad bhav bhavitah o 
राधे राधे श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 ओ राधे राधे श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 मांगु भुक्ति ना मुक्ति राधे मांगु भुक्ति ना मुक्ति राधे मांगु तव पद प्रेम राधे श्री राधे 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 मांगु तव पद प्रेम राधे श्री राधे 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 ओ राधे राधे श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 तस्मा सर्वेशु कालेशु मामनुस्मरत मामनुस्मर युद्ध च मई अर्पित मनो बुद्धिर मामे वैवस्य संशय राधे राधे श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 हे राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 श्री राधे 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 ओ राधे राधे श्री राधे 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 ओ राधे राधे श्री राधे राधे बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय यहां ये बहुत सुंदर श्लोक है गीता की भगवान श्री कृष्ण अर्जुन से कहते कि हे अर्जुन अंतकाल च मामे व स्मरण मुक्तवा कलेवरम यह प्रयात स्मर भाव याति नास्तत्य संशय चैप्टर एट वर्स फाइव गीता अंत काल एट द लास्ट मोमेंट वेन द लाइफ इज लिव इन द बॉडी अंत काल मीन्स द लास्ट मोमेंट वेन द लाइफ इज लिव इन द बॉडी च माम एव स्मरण मुक्तवा जत चंते कलेवरम वन द लाइफ इज कलेवरम मीन्स द बॉडी दिस इज कॉल अ कलेवर वन द लाइफ इज लीव इन दिस बॉडी सो अंत काल च मां स्मरण मुक्तवा वन द लाइफ इज लीव इन द बॉडी सम वन रिमेंबर्स ओनली मी माम एव मां मीन्स टू मी एव ओनली स्मरण मीन्स रिमेंबर If someone remembers me at that time, when the life is leaving the body, the last moment, the last moment, someone's eyes is closed. You think they have died? No, they haven't died. They are unconscious, but they haven't died. When the life is actually leaving the body, at that time, if someone remembers, remembers Bhagwan, remembers the Lord, he says, "Yah prayati samad bhavam." Yati nasta the sunshaya. That person will certainly come to me to come to Bhagwan, go to Bhagwan. There's no doubt about that. Abu Samay, our mind, kaha hoga? Where's our mind going to be at that time? We think it's an easy thing. I'm about to die. I'll think about Bhagwan. It's not so easy. What do you remember? When this life is about to leave the body, what do what do we remember at that time? 
उस समय क्या याद किसकी याद करेंगे वे एवर वी आर टच वॉट एवर आवर माइंड इज अ टच टू दैट इज वॉट वी गोइंग टू रिमेंबर we have our attachment is if we are attached to someone in the world we are attached to mummy to daddy some people are attached to their dog some are attached to a cat in the next verse shri krishna says yam yam vaapi smaram bhavam tyajyantante kalevaram yam yam vaapi smaram bhavam whatever you remember again this word come whatever you remember yam yam vaapi कलेवरम वन द लाइफ इज लिव इन द बॉडी यह प्रयाति समर्थ भावम तम तमे वैतिक सवि तम तमे वैतिक कौंते दैट इज वेयर यू विल गो दैट्स व्हाट यू गोइंग टू अटेन सो व्हाट यू रिमेंबर दैट टाइम एंड व्हाट यू गोइंग टू रिमेंबर एंड अ ब्यूटीफुल एग्जांपल इन भागवत महापुराण अ ब्यूटीफुल कथा in the fifth ka- the fifth canto of bhagavat mahapuran someone was known as jar bharat jar bharat bharat was such a great entity he was the eldest son of rishab bhagwan this is the ascension of shri krishna rishab dev he counted among the ascension of shri krishna he had 100 sons sau putra the eldest one was bharat Bharat was so great. Before this entire world was known as Ajnab Varsh, Ajnab Varsh, and because of Bharat, the world became known as Bharat Varsh. So great he was. What we call little India today, the whole world was known as Bharat. It got smaller and smaller, and there's a little piece, and that is, that may even get smaller. that's not what bharat alone is bharat means the whole world so bharat he ruled the world for 10 million years this is in satyug then given the rule over to all his children his sons he retired into the forest in a place called what we call nepal today there's a river called gandaki nadi this river is very special that gandaki nadi there's a mountain there and insects creatures they go and they cut the stone in that mountain black stone and it falls into the river and those somehow when they cut the stones they cut the sudarshan chakra of bhagwan into those stone that is called shaligram they are considered to be the only authentic shaligram as they have the, the sudarshan chakra of bhagwan cut into them by the insect the insects the creatures there so this is the shaligram kshetra is also called gandaki nadi So there was an ashram there. So Bharat ji went there. Later on, his name became known as Jar Bharat because he pretended to be very foolish. Even though he had all the knowledge, he had attained God realization. He pretended, pretended to be dumb. He was born in the home of a Brahmin. He was a Brahmin, but he pretended to be dumb and stupid. That's how we got the name Jar Bharat. Anyhow, so Bharat ji. even while he was ruling the world the whole world one king in ancient times there were many souls like bharat ambarish dhruv prahlad etc the rule the entire universe the whole world one king prahlad was told by bhagwan to rule the world after he attained bhagwan after bhagwan descended for prahlad he put prahlad to sit on his lap and to told prahlad to rule the whole world for one manvantar how long is one manvantar 306 million 720000 years 
Don't apply your mind. It's a different age. So we had kings like that. Dhruv, Prahlad, Ambarish, Bharat, etc. The rule, one king ruled the whole world. Bharat, while he was ruling, his mind was totally detached. He was Paramhans. A Paramhans is one who neither sees, hears, smell, taste, touch, anything. Except Brahm, Brahm, Brahm. He experiences the formless aspect of the Supreme Lord everywhere in the world. He's called a Paramhans. This was the condition of Bharat. So Bharat went, he gave up the world, the rule and went into the forest to continue his sadhana, his devotion for Bhagwan. One day he was sitting, doing his sadhana. A deer came to drink water. Very thirsty, a pregnant deer. And while she was drinking the water, a lion roared. And when the lion roared, the natural enemy of a deer is the lion, that mother, to save her life, she tried to jump across the river. When she jumped, the baby that was in the womb fell out from the womb. She had a miscarriage. The baby fell in the water and that mother ran away to save her life. She went into some cave and because of the, the miscarriage, etc., she died in that cave. And here the baby is drowning. Bharatji has seen the whole thing. Bharatji went into the water took out that baby deer and started taking care of it. He saved it. And he became attached. Remember Bharat Paramhans. You see Bharat had crossed one Maya. He had crossed one Maya. Avidya Maya. He had attained knowledge that I am the soul. Atma Gyan. But there is another Maya. Bhagwan Shri Ram. In the Ramayana. He said he was being questioned by Lakshman about Maya and Bhagwan Shri Ram says to Lakshman Tehi kar bhed suna hu tum do Vidya Appar Avidya Do Jai Ram Shri Ram भेद सुनाहु तुम दो विद्या अपर अविद्या दो भगवान श्री राम से इस लक्ष्मण दे टू काइंस ऑफ माया दो प्रकार वन इस विद्या माया वन इस अविद्या माया वन इस स्वरूपावरिका माया वन इस गुनावरिका माया मैनी नेम्स व्हाट इस विद्या माया अविद्या माया माया हस्त्री क्वालिटीज Sattva-gun, Raju-gun, Tamo-gun. Tibir-gunam yeh bhavai rebhi sarvam vidam jagat. Mohitam nabhi janati mame bhya param avyayam. Chapter 7 verse 13 Gita. So Maya has three qualities. Sattva-gun, Raju-gun, Tamo-gun. So Sattva-gun alone, that is called Vidya Maya. And Raju-gun plus Tamo-gun, Combined, this is called a Vidya Maya. What does Vidya Maya do? Ekar chai jag gun bas jake Prabhu prerit nahi nij bal take Bhagawan Shri Ram says to Lakshman, Vidya Maya creates the world. The outer world we see around us. Mountains, valleys, rivers, oceans, animals, Birds, human beings, etc. That world we see around us, 
is created by Vidya Maya. What does a Vidya Maya do? Ek dusht atisaya dukha rupa jabas jeeva paro bhava kupa. A Vidya Maya, Rajogun, Tamogun, governs the individual soul with people and makes us, has made us forgotten who we are. A Vidya Maya has made us forgotten that we are the soul, the Atma. And we identify with the physical body. And because of that, we fall into this Bhava Koop, this world which is called a Bhava Koop. And we suffer. We have to become free from that. But not only a Vidya Maya, many souls are able to cross a Vidya Maya. Gyanis on their own effort, not in the Kalyu. In Satyuga, Trita Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, Yogis, Gyanis were able to cross a Vidya Maya. They realize I am the soul, the Atma. It is called Atma Gyan, self realization. Ah, but there's another Maya, Vidya Maya. No Gyani, Rishi, Muni, Yogi can cross Vidya Maya by themselves. To cross that, you need Bhagwan's grace, his Kripa. Bhagwan Krishna makes it clear in Gita, chapter 7. Daivi Hesha Gunamai Mama Maya Duratyaya Mame Vaye Prapadyante Maya Metantarantite. Chapter 7, verse 14, Gita. He says, he's talking about Gunavarika Maya, Gunavai. In other words, Vidya Maya, this Maya's divine power. He says the power that belongs to him, Mama Maya, Medi Maya. So because it's Bhagwan's power, no one can cross Vidya Maya by themselves. How to cross Vidya Maya? Mame Vaye Prapadyante. Shri Krishna says, only the one who completely surrenders to it. Bhakti. You have to do bhakti. Later on in the Gita, Bhagavan Krishna says, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nashu Chati Nakangshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Labate Param Chapter 18, verse 54, Gita. Brahma Bhut means Paramhans. One who has realized I am the soul, the Atma, self-realization. That's called Paramhans. That Brahma Bhut, he is subject to downfall until and unless he does something. Until he does what? Mother Bhaktim. Mother Bhaktim. Until he does Bhakti, devotion to Sri Krishna. In the next verse, Sri Krishna emphasizes Bhakta ma bijanati yavan yashtasmi tatvata tatu maam tatu tu gyata vishati tadanantaram. Chapter 18, verse 55, Gita. Sri Krishna says, Without bhakti, without the path of love in God, no one can attain Brahma gyan or knowledge of God. You can attain Atma gyan, but that gyan he falls again and again. And this is what happened to. Bharatji. Bharat became attached to that deer. That is the Vidya Maya. He became attached to the deer. He will be sitting down to do his meditation, his bhakti, and suddenly forgetting Bhagwan, he'll think about the deer. Where she is, I hope that he's not been attacked by dogs or lions. I wonder if she's hungry. Sometimes the deer will come and nudge him and he will forget his bhakti and start playing with her. He got so attached. This is a Vidya Maya. Now the point came, Bharat is about to leave the world. He knew Bharat was so great. He knew the time had come. So he called all the shishas, all the disciples in the ashram and told them, bring the deer. He said, this deer, is, she's I love her so much. Please bring her. I am about to leave the world. So they brought the deer. Bharat put his hand on the deer and started to play with the deer. He says, I love this deer so much. Please take care of her after I leave. And while doing that and saying this, Bharat gave up as we say the ghost. He died. 
with his mind fixed on that day. And what happened? In the next life, that great Bharat had to be born as a deer. Wherever the mind, whatever you remember, when the life leaves the body, no matter Bharat was so great, Param Hans, yet his mind was fixed on the deer. Because he was attached to the deer. And for that, but the great thing is that he retained all the knowledge. Because of how much bhakti he had done, his spiritual power, even though he was in the body of a deer, he remembered all the knowledge. And what did he do? He renounced all the parents, all the other deers, and ran to the same ashram where he was practicing bhakti. And there were many sages and sages. There were many saints. And Bharatji, what he would do in the form of a deer, he would eat the jutan. Jutan. It's called avashish. When a saint, a divine soul eats, and whatever he leaves, this is called Mahaprasad. He would not eat any grass or anything like any deer. He would wait for these saints to eat, and whatever they left over, the jutan, that he would eat. Very quickly, he gave up the body of a deer. And he was born in the home of a Brahman with complete knowledge. He had attained God realization now. But he pretended to be dumb and stupid. That's how we got the name Jar Bharat. Beautiful Katha, many much more, but we're not doing Bhagwa today just to bring the example of, just to bring home that point. Where the mind? You see, what, what you're going to remember? Whatever you love, wherever your mind is attached, that's what you're going to remember. Someone is dying. They may have not, it happens in the world, parents fall out with their children. For some reason, the father stops speaking to the son or the daughter, and the child has gone away. The parent is living in Trinidad, the child is living in America, New York City. And the child, the father has become very sick and is thinking, I'm about to die. And he starts telling everyone, please call Radhika. I, 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 I will not die. I can't die if I don't see her. Please call Radhika. Even though they have not spoken for many, many years. But now because the attachment is still there. It's so strong. And that's all he can remember that time. He wants to see her. He wants to see her. So what? Wherever our mind is attached, what we love, that is what we're going to remember at that time. Ab aage chaliye. Ab yek prashna aya hai. Hame kya karna? Taki hamare man antim samay bhagwan ko yaad karenge. So the question comes, what should we do? That our mind at the last moment, when the life is about to leave this body, instead of our mind being attached in the world, because look, let somebody say, I love my father to death. I love my mommy to death. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about what Sri Krishna says in Gita. Fine, no problem. Love your father, but your father has done wrong actions. He's done wrong things. And because of that, in the next life, your father is born in the body. Not your father. He's born in the body of a dog. Remember we rotate in 8.4 million forms of life. आकर चारी लाख चौरासी योनि भ्रमत यह जीव अभिनासी जय राम
भगवान श्री राम इस सेंट टू रेसिडेंस फॉर अयोध्या उत्तर कांड और रामायण आकर चार लाख चौरासी योनि भ्रमट यह जीव अविनाशी द जीव आत्मा द सोल आत्मा हु वी आर इट इज अविनाशी इनडिस्ट्रक्टिबल इटर्नल बिगिनिंगस नेवर हैड अ बिगिनिंग विल नेवर हैव एन एंड बट इट कीप्स रोटेटिंग भ्रमट it keeps rotating in 8.4 million forms of life because of his attachment because of his actions so let's suppose in this father had performed such actions that he is born in the body of a dog and you are attached to your father when you leave what you going to what's going to happen you're going to be born as a puppy wherever you are attached there is you going to go so what should we do then so then the next verse shri krishna says how to do how that the point that should come that my mind should be attached to shri krishna alone at the time when the life is live in the body so shri krishna now says tasma sarveshu kaleshu mam anusmara yuddha cha ah the entire gita The whole philosophy of the Gita is put in one verse, one line. One line. Shri Krishna says, "Arjun, tasma sarveshu at all place, kaleshu at all times, mamanusmar. Practice attaching your mind to me. Keep your mind attached to me, to Shri Krishna. Are you dhacha? You are kshatri. Do your duty. Fight the war." मई अर्पित मनो बुद्धि मामे वैवस्य संशय अर्जुन इफ योर माइंड एंड इंटेलेक्ट इज अटैच टू मी लाइक दैट यू विल सर्टेनली कम टू मी देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट यू विल सर्टेनली कम श्री कृष्ण मेक्स इट वेरी क्लियर सो व्हाट डू वी डू वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस हमें साधना करना रोज Why do we get attached to any person or object in the world? Why do we get attached? Because we think this person is going to make me happy, this thing is going to make me happy. We think about them again and again. Bar bar. Do you think someone becomes an alcoholic overnight? Do you think a person becomes a chain smoker overnight? We are born chain smokers, alcoholic, druggy? No. Bhagwan Krishna tells us in the Gita, the answer is given. Everything is given in this Gita. Dhyaya to vishayan punsa sangaste shupa jayate. Chapter two, verse sixty-two, Gita. Shri Krishna says, when we think again and again, listen carefully. When we think again and again that we can find happiness in any person or object, we get attached to that person or object. बार 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 सोचने से अ पर्सन इन द यंग चाइल्ड हुड एज सी समवन ड्रिंकिंग अल्कोहल इट कुड बी अ फादर इट कुड बी मदर अ फ्रेंड अ ब्रदर सिस्टर समवन एंड ही थिंक्स व्हाट दे गेट फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग अल्कोहल ही सी द ड्रिंक एंड देन दे स्टार्ट डांसिंग एंड मे बी देयर इज समथिंग इन दैट सो ही हाइज एंड टेक्स अ लिटिल ड्रिंक and the head spin little bit every now and again he hides and take a little drink now every friday now he starts working he goes clubbing now it is you know long ago only boys used to go clubbing go to the rum shop now it is girls are going more so now every friday he's drinking she's drinking then every monday and friday then every monday wednesday and friday then every day now you have become an alcoholic when you're young you see someone smoking again father could be mother father brother sister somebody friend and you think wow sign of a gentleman big grown up i want to smoke a cigarette too so you hide and you get a little cigarette 
and you strike it up on smoke in that first cigarette you cough and almost choke on it you're not accustomed that smoke it burns the throat i did it when i was young also so i know it it burns you you want you want to you cough choke and you want to you cough and want to choke on it but you keep smoking because you think it's going to make you happy until you become a chain smoker and people can't give it up you try what you want i stayed at the home of someone one time he was an alcoholic a brahmin family but he was an alcoholic but swami ji is going to come to his home he begged me to come and stay i said bhaiya yet yeah, i'll come so he's thinking swami ji is coming to my home i should not drink and that night while i'm sleeping i heard someone screaming like as though they are dying because he did not drink he got so much pain so much pain so it is this, the same thing happens you know people say boy i just see this girl and i fell in love i just saw this boy and i fell in love nobody sees anybody and falls in love you see the decision comes in the mind in our intellect very subtle very subtle you don't even know that comes in the mind this is the girl who's going to make me happy this is the boy who's going to make me happy as i mentioned this morning this is my soulmate and you think about a boy again and again you think about that girl again and again you want to see them all the time until the point come that you even food you don't want to eat food doesn't have any interest you can't sleep until you get that boy or girl you say i have fallen in love you get attached addicted so the whole thing this whole thing is the comes from thinking again and again bar 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 we get attached in the same way bhagwan krishna says to udhav there's another gita so there's a ram gita in the ramayan where bhagwan shri ram is speaking to everyone in ayodhya ek bar raghunath bulaye guru dwij purvasi sab aaye in 11000 years bhagwan shri ram call everyone in ayodhya and give a lecture once ek bar and this call ram gita and we know bhagavad gita from mahabharat in the bhagavad mahapurana there is a gita also is udho gita udho gita bhagwan udho is asking bhagwan shri krishna he is questioning and shri krishna is given answer in 11 kanto bhagwan shri krishna says to udho vishayandha taschittam vishayeshu visajjate maa manusmara taschittam mayeva pravilliyate 11 kanto 14th chapter 27 verse shrimad bhagavat mahapurana bhagwan krishna udho gita bhagwan krishna says udho just as someone in the world he thinks again and again that a person or object can give him happiness he becomes attached to that person or object falls in love becomes addicted attached and eventually attains that after dying also wherever the mind is attached in the same way the lord says if someone should think about bhagwan god again and again that he alone will make me happy he alone will give me happiness what will happen we'll get attached to bhagwan we'll fall in love with bhagwan and the result will be god realization because our mind has become attached to bhagwan so the way we practice the method of practice is the same just like in the world and the result is also the same what is the result the mind becomes attached and we attain that for which the mind becomes attached if our mind becomes attached to the material world as it has been from uncountable lifetimes 
will again and again keep rotating in the 8.4 million forms of life. If, however, we practice sadhana, how do we practice sadhana? We have to sit down silently. There's a Brahma Sutra, very briefly, time will allow me to go in great detail. In the Brahma Sutra, there are three mantras. How to do sadhana. First mantra, Asina Sambhavat. We have to sit down. When you're doing sadhana, meditation, sit down with your leg crossed. You don't have to do lotus posture, fold it up. No, just like how I'm sitting here. Like this, sit with a leg cross. Don't sit on a chair, if possible. Sometimes we can't help it. But this is the best position. Don't lie down on the bed, don't stand up. Sit with the leg cross. Asina Sambhavat. <coughs> Next mantra, Achalatvacha Peksham. Sit with the back straight, upright with the back straight. Be alert. Our mind is chanchal, maha chanchan, chanchalam, manha krishna, pramati balavad dhiram. It's so wayward, so fickle, chanchal. Any kind of looseness in posture, etc. will cause that fickle mind to wander. So we have to be alert. A lot of people like to sit down and lean up against. As I know you go satsang and they don't have enough wall for people to sit down. Nobody wants to sit in the middle anywhere. We want to be so comfortable. No, you have to sit. Like how Swamiji is sitting here. Back straight. Be alert. And the third mantra, Dhyanach. Do Rup Dhyan. Meditate on God. Chant the name of Bhagwan. Do some chanting. Chant Maha Mantra. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. This mantra is called Maha Mantra because it's from the Upanishad. Kali Santarani Upanishad. A lot of people have changed it for their own reason. I don't know why. And they put Hare Krishna first. Because they think that Ram and Krishna is different. It's foolish thinking. The same Ram is the same Krishna. Bhaiya, don't see difference. Ram is another name for Sri Krishna. This mantra has three names of Sri Krishna. Hari, Ram, Krishna. And it's written in the Kali Santarane Upanishad like this. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Mahamantra. And in any... Radhe Radhe, Radhe Govind, Durge Durge, Om Namah Shivaya. Chant the name of Allah. Meditate on Bhagwan. Shed tears for Bhagwan. Do this every day. Regularly. Look, we eat food every day. We should. Rose khana khate. We should to keep the body healthy. Tanabi nubhajana vedana hibarana. If this body is sick, we're not healthy. You have COVID. High fever. And you sit down to do sadhana, you sit down to do bhakti, instead of saying, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, what will you do? High pain, high pain. The man will go where the pain is. So health is important. We supposed to give the body everything it requires in the right amount of vitamin, mineral. It doesn't mean you have to eat meat. Uh-uh. We can get the same amount of protein, pang for pang, in lentil, etc. Who told you you have to eat meat? We have some very powerful, strong people in India and they're vegetarian. They never touch or smell in meat even in their whole life. Don't be fooled by this thing. These things will destroy you. It is poison. Human beings, we were not created to eat these things. It goes inside. Whatever you eat, it stays 21 days inside of you. This is why when you have a puja, Panditji will tell you fast for 21 days at least. It stays inside of you 21 days. Imagine a piece of meat in you 21 days. What's going to happen? Keep a piece outside and see what happens to it. It's poison juice. It destroys you. You end up getting cancer, all kind of things. 
We don't understand. All because of running after the senses, taste, etc. So just as we eat every day to keep the body healthy, in the same way we have to feed the soul, the atma. The body is material, we give it material things. Dal, rice, bhaji, bread, soup. Huh? But the soul, atma, who we are, is divine. We, can we give it some rice, some bhaji, some dal? No. We have to give it divine food. What is divine food? When you sit down and meditate on Bhagwan, you chant the divine name of the Lord. We meditate on Bhagwan, Shetyas of Bhagwan. That is food for the atma, the soul. That is called sadhana. It's called meditation. It's called bhakti. This we have to practice every day by ourselves. This should be done every day. This is called sadhana. Yaha batate hai abhyasa yoga yuktena chetasa nanyagamina paramam purusham divyam yati parthana chintayan abhyasa yoga. We have to do abhyas. Abhyas yoga means just what I just told you. Practice. Practicing bhakti, abhyas yoga, abhyas bhakti yoga. That's what it is. Not, not what we call yoga, exercise. That's, not going, that's going to give you strong body, that's all. It's good. We should exercise every day. So if you don't like to run, you can't go to the gym, etc. Do some yoga, yoga asan, the correct name. But yoga means something else. Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahad, Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. That is Yoga. Can't do in Kalyuk. Bhakti. Bhakti is very easy. All you have to do is love. Everyone knows how to love. We know how to love mommy. We know how to love daddy. We know how to love husband, wife, child, friend. We already know how to love. All we have to do is take that love and direct it to Bhagawan. That is bhakti. Change the area, that's all. That's why bhakti is so easy because we know how to do it already. Practice. Abhyas you. By doing that constantly, chetasa, with the mind, chetasa, or bar bar, bhagwan par, abhyas, abhyas yog, meaning doing sadhana daily, every day, we will attain the Supreme Lord. Our mind will become attached to Bhagwan. Verily, we will become attached to Bhagwan. At this time, I say that we we'll chant the name of Bhagwan. We'll do a beautiful bhajan. I've been talking, talking, talking. So maybe this will give us a little bit to focus our mind. Beautiful bhajan we're going to sing. Hey, bhai, manaka, manaka, in the mind. Remember, we should not just chant the name of Bhagwan like a parrot. Ram, Ram, Ram. If you have a, someone has a parrot in the home, and every day he's saying Ram, Ram, Sita, Ram, Sita, Ram, the, pun, the parrot will say Sita, Ram, Sita, Ram also. But if the parrot is in the home of an alcoholic, and every day that fella gets up and he uses bad words, you know what the parrot is going to say? So whatever you teach, the parrot is going to say. No, we shouldn't take Bhagwan's name like that. With love, with, in the mind, meditating on Bhagwan, feeling in the mind, chant the name of the Lord, like that. With love in our heart and love in our mind. Listen to this beautiful bhajan. Bhai man ka man ka Ram naam ki Mahima gaye re, Mahima gaye re, Hai man ka man ka Ram naam ki. Hai man ka man ka Ram naam ki, Mahima gaye re, O Mahima gaye re. Saasu ki dori me bhoome, ओ सासो के गोरी में धूम धीर बन जाए भय महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे भय मन का मन का राम नाम 
महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे प्राणों के प्राणों के पन घट का मेला नयनो के यमु ना कारेला नयनो की यमुना कारेला ये अलबेला ये अलबेला जीत मीत बन प्रीत बधाए रे भाई महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे भय मन का मन का राम नाम की महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे पुतली नाचे धीरे धीरे पल के बजाते मधुर संजीरे पलक बजाते मधुर संजीरे राम नाम का ओ, ओ राम नाम का पावन हीरा कौ चुराए रे भय महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे भय मन का मन का राम नाम महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे जिन जपते छिन छिन की माला कभी अंधेरा कभी उजाला कभी अंधेरा कभी उजाला राम कृपा से ओ राम कृपा से राम कृपा से भुजा दिया फिर से जल जाए रे हर महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे भय मन का मन का राम नाम की महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे महिमा गाए रे ओ महिमा गाए रे महिमा गाए बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय सोमचंद्र कथा ये बार बार भगवान ये बताते हैं प्रयाण काले मन प्रयाण का प्रयाण काले मन सा चलेन भक्त्या युक्तो योग बले न चैव भ्रभोर मध्ये प्राण मावेश सम्यक सतम परम पुरुष संवैति दिव्यम इट चैप्टर टेंट वर्स बार बार बताते अगेन एंड अगेन सेम थिंग इज बीन टोल अगेन एंड अगेन हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस द द टाइम प्राण काल इज द टाइम ऑफ डेथ दैट द माइंड शुड नॉट मूव फ्रॉम भगवान मनसा चलेन सो व्हाट टू डू ब्रुवोर मध्ये प्राण मय वैश्य सम्यक सतम परम पुरुषम वैति दिव्यम वन हु इज कांस्टेंटली and grasped in bhakti when you practice bhakti all the time do sadhana bhakti all the time focus in the mind on bhagwan here is mentioned between the eyebrow 
There are many, many ways of practicing. The main thing is to visualize Bhagwan. So what we normally told, and this is recommended by Jagat Gurtam, Sri Kripalu Mahaprabhu, in the beginning, we need help. Because we have not practiced bhakti devotion in a good way, in some fantastic way in many lifetimes. So in the beginning, we need help. So take some picture of some, the form of Bhagwan that you love, you're going to meditate on. Some picture that your mind loves, that you're attached to, you love this picture. Place it in front of you. Now look at it. And then close your eyes and try to visualize that form. In the beginning, you'll find that when you look at the picture, it takes a long time to look at that picture. And when you close your eyes, it will vanish quickly. Don't worry. Open your eyes and look again. And then close and try to visualize. If we keep practicing like that, eventually we will find the length of time it will take us to look at that picture or murti. Murti also will get smaller and smaller. And the length of time we are able to keep that image in our mind will get longer and longer until the point will come. You will no longer need any picture or murti. Anywhere you can be. And you'll be able to close your eyes and visualize Bhagwan, that form that you're meditating upon. Other you will come to the point you can even open your eyes and see. So firm that image has become imprinted in the mind. But don't keep it as a murti or a picture. Let it come alive. See the eyes blinking. See him smiling. See him smiling at you. Talking to you, walking to you, giving you a hug and embrace. Make a relation. Bhagwan, every relation of the soul, the Atma is with Bhagwan. Every relation. We say the prayer. Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandhuscha Sakha Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinang Twameva the prayer everyone say. What are we saying in the prayer? Do we think about what we are saying or we just say it like the parrot? Tuam ev. Tuam means you. Tu, tu, you. Ev means he alone. We are saying to Bhagwan, O oh Lord, hey Shri Krishna, you alone are my mommy. You alone are my daddy. You alone are my friend. You alone are my companion. You alone are my wealth. You alone are my knowledge. You alone are my everything. Because I am the soul, the Atma. Every relation of the soul is with Bhagwan. So, make a relation with Bhagwan. Love Bhagwan as your mommy, your daddy, your friend. Every relation. Increase that love. And slowly, slowly, if you keep practicing regularly, our mind will really become attached. Will become attached. And no matter what, you will not be able to, you will not forget. Not even for a moment. Again, again, it's been told. Look, again, it's been said here. O me te kaksharam brahma vyaharan maman usmaran. Chapter 8, verse 13, Gita. Again, the word smaran. When the life is leaving the body, if we remember Bhagwan. You remember Bhagwan, you take a name, you take Om, you take... But if you remember, most important here, remember in Bhagwan. At the, night, the time that life is leaving the body, you remember Bhagwan. What happens? Sa paramangating, you will attain Bhagwan. You will go to his divine abode. How to do that? So a beautiful last verse I will give to you here, and very important. Ananya cheta satatam. Listen carefully to this verse. Ananya cheta satatam. Yo maam smarati nityasha Tasham sulabha partha Nitya yuktasya yogina Very important verse. Chapter 8 verse 14 Gita Ananya cheta satatam Ananya means exclusively 
exclusively only one shri krishna says arjun ananya cheta the mind ananya cheta satatam all the time yo mam smarati nityasha if someone should remember me all the time now one word has been repeated here three times in one verse always 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 in english in literature if you keep repeating some one word again and again is called a fault a dosh but here one thing has been repeated three times because it's so important it should be continuous all the time ananya cheta exclusively the mind exclusively yoma satatam all the time yoma smarati remember him all the time nitya shah tasya ham sulabha part nitya yuktasya again nitya nitya all the time the mind is engaged in bhagwan like this to such a person i am easily attained tasya ham sulabha sulabha means easily attained i am easily attained arjun very easily attained of course to reach there is not easy that the mind is constantly you like you're pouring oil from one vessel into another vessel and the oil is pouring there's no break so our mind has to be attached to bhagwan continuously that only comes with practice abhyas constant practice to do that as i said we have to practice daily we have to find some time i know we are very busy sometimes we are so busy we don't have time to even die but <laughs> yamraj comes ba- baba i don't have time right now <laughs> please go back huh we so busy you ask someone why don't you come mandir why don't you come to the puja the the yagna baba i have to i am too busy man you don't have time make time we have a lot of time to go in the whatsapp to go on the facebook uh, to go in the social media lot of time people spend hours and hours on those things and then when but when it comes to bhakti that which is beneficial to us to do some meditation to do some sadhana we don't have time make time every day make some time to sit down by yourself chant the name take some bhajan kirtan chant just take any name use maha mantra chant any name of bhagwan most important meditate meditate make a relation with the lord and slowly slowly your mind will become attached to bhagwan and the happiness you will get i'm telling you the happiness you will get when you're doing that sadhana and your mind is constantly focus on bhagwan no object or person in the world can give you that peace and happiness not because this bhagwan is happiness anando brahmeti vijanat taitiriya upanishad chapter 3 verse 6 the veda say shri krishna is anand bliss happiness another name for bhagwan is anand bliss happiness in other words whatever we say happiness bliss or we say shri krishna these are two names for one and the same entity and that's why when we meditate on bhagwan we meditate on god we sit down and do meditation we chant the name of the lord with our mind focus on god not chanting like a parrot don't just decide i'm going to do jap and you just trying to finish 10 jap 10 mala or something and your mind where the mind is you don't even pay attention Oh my god I have to go and be in Pandit Chetram oh bhagwan I have to go and buy 10 pong rice and you going on hari ram hari ram 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 hey you in the shop buying bhaiya what is the price of that hari krishna hari krishna kya kar rahe all your pay attention is that I have to do so many mala there's no attention on bhagwan are bhaiya if you take one name of bhagwan in the right way you will attain everything and you take million name of bhagwan in the wrong way there's a right way and there's a wrong way ek ghadi aadho ghadi aadho puni mein aadh 
Are the saints lying to us that if someone even take the name of Bhagwan once, he will attain Bhagwan, and we are taking Bhagwan name million times and nothing is happening. The saints don't lie to us. Because there's a right way and there's a wrong way. We're just doing physical drill. Forget about the mala and all the number, how much? Focus. Sit down. Focus your mind on Bhagwan. Meditate on Bhagwan. Meditate on the Divine Mother. Whichever form you want to worship. One Bhagwan. Uncountable name. Uncount. Don't see difference. Don't see difference in name and form. One Bhagwan. Sit down and focus your mind. Chant. Forget about the number. More important, Bhagwan is looking to see how you are taking the name, how much love, how much devotion. He's not looking to see how much time you have done it. Arish Shabari, all his people didn't even know any mantra. What mantra does Shabari know, bhaiya? We, so, we love to hear Shabari Katha. Dhanna, Jat, so many examples. They didn't know any mantra, nothing. All they had was faith, devotion. Faith. Ye Bhagwan, that's what Bhagwan wants. How much faith, how much love we have. Ye, this is what Bhagwan is looking for. Then you will see how much difference, how much benefit. There's much, much more. I think Pandiji had asked that Swamiji to finish 11.30. I think I've gone a little bit beyond. So I'll try to finish here. The beautiful Katha. There's so much more, but it's time for everything. So I think I'll bring a close to the part, the part here this morning. And some other time we'll hear more. Bule Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai Umapati Mahadev Ki Jai Asak Durga Maharani Ki Jai Pavan Sutta Mahavir Swami Ki Jai Bule Siyavar Ram Chandra Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe